Hello everyone, this is Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone's doing fabulous today through the chaos going on in the world. I owe Virgo a bonus for their Julian New Year reading because those energies were pretty scattered. I'm not going to go into the history lesson on what a Julian New Year is because you guys already heard it. And I'm going to make my spiel pretty quick. This reading will be for Virgo for the Julian New Year. Bonus reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, okay. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's probably not your reading. Check the Moon, Rising, or Venus signs. Again, if you haven't already, understand the time and energy are both fluid. And all things can and maybe vice versa. And this is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. More quick shuffle for Virgo. I'm going to get your cards on the table. Whoop. Devil in the upright, hangman in the reverse. Oh boy. Some of you may have a pretty powerful connections getting you all hung up emotionally. All right. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Pisces. Okay. What were we supposed to take out of last year? Ace of Wands reverse. Slow down. What was your shining moment? Six of Pentacles reversed, okay? You may have come to a conclusion that something wasn't even or equal. What did you need to let go of? Three of Swords, heartbreak. Keep in mind, I'm using two decks out of the box that I haven't used in this set at all. Just so you're aware. What can you expect from this year? Five of Pentacles. Oh boy. Mm. You could be left out in the cold or be facing leaving someone out in the cold. Take it however it resonates. What's the challenge for this year? Two of Pentacles reversed. More emotional jugg juggling, unable to make a decision. Oh boy. How do you overcome this challenge? The Empress reversed. This could be accepting the fact that something wasn't supposed to grow. Letting go of a family connection, possibly. What do you need to focus on for the transition as Pisces moves into Aries? Temperance reversed. This could be getting your bearings back and clearing out some funky energy how do you handle this transition ten of pentacles reversed we're gonna get clarity this could be accepting that you weren't supposed to get the happy ending you could just need to stop focusing on this and start focusing on something else <coughs> Stop putting all your energy into something financial, emotional, otherwise. All right, let's get some clarity. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, Universe, Source, and Spirits. Can we get clarity for Virgo for the cards on the table for their Julian New Year, please? As Pisces moves into Aries. I'm feeling one more. These have been in the box for a minute.
Three of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Swords reversed. <coughs> There's no coming together here. Possibly no communication either. There's no... If there's a foundation there, it's very shaky and unsteady. We've already gone over the fact that it could be potentially toxic. At, at minimum, a very powerful connection that has you all hung up. It may well be hung up because somebody got ghosted. And, or is about to get ghosted. And, or is about to do some ghosting and there's no communication. Can I get clarity on the Ace of Wands reversed, please? Can I get clarity for the Ace of Wands reversed? Thank you. Empress in the reverse. What were you supposed to take out of last year? No forward movement because this wasn't supposed to grow anyway. There was no hope for growth here. One more, please. want to talk. Hi. Judgment reversed. Someone say you can't resurrect something that isn't dead. You can't resurrect something that never existed. That's what you were supposed to take out of this. There was no hope for expansion to begin with. This was toxic. This was a distraction, Virgo. Occasionally, there are dark forces in the universe that distract us from the path we're supposed to be going down. Nine of Swords reversed. Some people might say it's the Bet Poop Bonkers card. Some people would say you're not supposed to give it a second thought. Take it over, resonates. This wasn't supposed to hang you up. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here? For your shining moment. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here for Virgo's shining moment? Nine of Cups reversed. Overindulgence. Filling your cups with the wrong things. Not emotionally fulfilled. It wasn't equal. You came to the conclusion that you weren't happy. Queen of Pentacles in the upright. You found your freaking worth again. You realized I'm worth more than this. I don't deserve this. I deserve something equal. I deserve to be happy. That's awesome. That's one hell of a shining moment, Virgo. Why is the Three of Swords here for something you were supposed to let go of?
Why is the three of so Thank you. King of Wands. Talk about full steam ahead and getting your fire back. Letting go of heartbreak. Moving forward. Full steam ahead. Five of Wands. Let go of the conflict. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm going to shake this off and I'm going to move on. I'm going to let go of the toxicity. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, and then we come down here. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for what Virgo can expect out of this year? Ten of Cups. And that Ten of Cups came out with a Seven of Wands. Well, I'll be damned. I don't think you're the one that's going to be left out in the cold. I think you're walking away and leaving. You're slamming the door, changing the locks. Finding happiness again and taking charge. Awesome, Virgo. I'm not even going to clarify that card anymore. What's the challenge going to be? Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed here for the challenge for Virgo? Queen of Swords reversed. Justice in the upright. Could possibly be a Libra you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. The challenge is going to be cutting somebody off and slamming the door. The challenge is going to be putting an end to the juggling and finding balance again. Well, how do we overcome it? Why is the Empress reversed here? I'm a Virgo moon and a Virgo rising. Did I say that yet? Eight of Wands reversed. Cut the communication off. Except that it wasn't supposed to grow. Except that they weren't the one. This is supposed to teach you something. Four of cups in the upright. The universe has something else to hand you. Something that's not so toxic. Something that's not going to hang you up. Something that's not going to distract you from the path that you're supposed to be on. Stop looking down at the three cups of coulda, woulda, shoulda. And look up at the one the universe is supposed to hand you. Look up, Virgo. It's right there. Okay. Why is the temperance reversed here? For what Virgo needs to focus on during this transition period. Why is the temperance reversed here? The hair fit in the upright.
Wasn't I just saying something about lessons? Three of Swords. You need to focus on regaining your footing and kind of re-steering how the energies flow and take the life lesson out of the heartbreak. How do you handle this transition? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here reversed? Or how Virgo is supposed to handle the transition? Five of Pentacles reversed. And the Hermit. Okay. You're in the upright at the end. How about that? Stop pouring all of your energy into figuring out why. There's more important things to focus on right now. Stop putting the work into it. Just shut the door and heal introspect just a little not too much don't go all bat crap bonkers heal sure you let go of the heartbreak but you didn't heal and that, that's the process you need to start now King of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. I keep hearing this isn't the offer they're looking for. But there's one coming. You need to be patient with yourself. Okay. Page of Cups reversed, Knight of Swords reversed, the High Priestess and the Ten of Wands. Beware of dishonest offers and mixed messages. Use your intuition to know. And eventually you need to release this burden. Or accept that it wasn't your burden to take on. Take it however it resonates. Three of Pentacles. Lay the foundations within yourself. Comes from introspection. There's that High Priestess again. High Priestess and the Four of Wands in the Upright. Doors are about to open. 
Use your intuition as to whether you need to walk through the door or not. Take time. Heal. Stop being all hung up. Accept what has happened and move forward because that's really all you can do. Yup. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles reversed, Devil reversed, and the Eight of Cups in the upright. Wow. Know your worth, Virgo. You're a catch and a half. And you knew it up here, you're worth more than all that BS. And you need to know it. You need to know it with everything that's in you. You're worth it. Disconnect. There's going to be some bad memories associated with this, but you need to disconnect from it. You need to just let it go. Walk away. Walk away. Get your power back. Introspect. Okay. Bottom of the deck, five of cups. Remember that you are blessed. Don't focus so much on the three spilt cups. Because there's two cups behind you. So turn around, look. Those two cups are full of self-worth and self-love. Exercise it. Virgo, I love you guys. And not just because I'm a Virgo moon or a Virgo rising. I, I, I love Virgos in general. You guys are wonderful. You're... I would probably jump in front of a truck for a Virgo. Don't take that the wrong way. Are there are any cross watches or anything. I don't play favorites, but... It's a special place in my heart for my Virgo friends. I love you guys. Be blessed. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, like, share, and subscribe. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist your arm. If you're in need of a personal reading, in the description down below is the email address. Shoot us an email. We'll talk about it. Okay? Thanks for coming by. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.